Are you losing strength even though you're eating enough and wondering why your energy keeps slipping day after day? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today we're unpacking why wasting syndromes in cancer and chronic illness often start with a collapse in cellular energy, how low NAD plus drives that decline, and what current research says about restoring metabolism so you can preserve muscle and function. I'm Alara Sky. This discussion centers on a simple but powerful shift in perspective. Cachexia isn't just poor appetite or inflammation, it's a failure of energy production. When NAD plus falls and mitochondria slow, you lose the ability to maintain and repair muscle even when food is available. A study in molecular metabolism reframed the problem. Investigators found that muscles from animals with severe wasting had sharply reduced NAD plus and barely functioning mitochondria. When researchers blocked the signals driving this breakdown, NAD plus rebounded, mitochondrial activity restarted, and muscle tissue began to recover. Survival improved even though tumors didn't shrink, showing that restoring energy, not just treating disease, was key. Inflammation was present, but it wasn't the primary driver once energy systems were restored. That lens is reinforced by commentary from bioenergetic researcher Georgi Dinkoff. He emphasized that wasting accelerates when oxidative metabolism declines. As mitochondrial function falters, NAD plus drops and cells shift toward less efficient pathways that generate lactate. He also pointed to factors that worsen the decline, including polyunsaturated fats high in linoleic acid from seed oils. Supporting mitochondrial energy and preventing NAD plus depletion, he noted, can help block or reverse wasting. Another line of evidence comes from nature communications. In mice with aggressive and slower growing cancers, Niacin, a form of vitamin B3, replenished NAD plus in skeletal muscle and liver, improved ATP production, enhanced mitochondrial health, and increased protein synthesis, even during chemotherapy. Muscle mass and grip strength partially recovered, and these gains occurred without affecting tumor size, underscoring that metabolic repair drove the benefit. There's debate about the best way to rebuild NAD plus. While the Nature Communications work used niacin, the position we're reviewing favors niacinamide, nicotinamide, as a more effective precursor through the salvage pathway. For oral use, an outlined practical dose is 50 mg three times daily. The rationale is efficient conversion to NAD+, with fewer risks linked to higher dose niacin. You'll also hear about next-generation liposomal niacinamide formulations intended to deliver the compound directly into cells with very low milligram doses. The goal is to minimize first-pass metabolism and gastrointestinal load while achieving robust NAD plus repletion. The larger takeaway for you is that targeting NAD plus restoration by form and delivery that suit you sits at the heart of metabolic recovery. The Nature Communication study also traced muscle loss to reduced activity of the enzyme that converts nutrients such as vitamin B3 into NAD+. In both animals and human cancer patients, diminished expression appeared alongside abnormal metabolic profiles, even before visible weight loss. That means the energy crisis often starts early, and intervening at the level of NAD plus metabolism can be timely rather than reactive. Restoring NAD plus did more than raise one molecule. Niacin increased mitochondrial DNA content, boosted the proteins that regulate mitochondrial growth and renewal, and strengthened muscle fibers. Energy capacity stabilized across different disease severities. Again, tumors didn't have to shrink for patients to gain functional benefits. Correcting energy balance itself mattered. Clinically, there's interest in drugs like selective androgen receptor modulators and ghrelin agonists that increase muscle protein synthesis. Early findings show these can raise size more than strength. That pattern supports the central message here. Rebuilding energy production, especially via NAD+, is foundational if you want lasting function, not just bigger numbers on a scan. So, 
What can you do today that aligns with the evidence? First, focus on restoring NAD+. You can use niacin-rich foods and niacinamide. The practical guidance specifies niacinamide at 50 mg three times daily to increase NAD plus production. This approach speaks directly to the metabolic failure that underlies wasting and fatigue. Second, feed your mitochondria with cofactors highlighted in the discussion, CoQ10, vitamin K, and riboflavin, to support ATP generation. These inputs help reestablish steady energy output once you begin addressing NAD+. The aim is to rebuild the machinery that powers movement, repair, and resilience. Third, eliminate dietary breaks on energy production. Seed oils high in linoleic acid, soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, canola, grapeseed, cottonseed, rice bran, and similar oils. Disrupt cellular energy handling and promote chronic inflammation. Replace them with stable fats such as grass-fed butter, ghee, or tallow to reduce oxidative stress and support recovery. Fourth, bring stress signals down and stabilize fueling. Balanced meals with enough protein and natural carbohydrates, such as fruit or white rice, plus mineral-rich salt, help quiet cortisol and adrenaline surges that accelerate tissue breakdown. Avoid long-term fasting or extreme calorie restriction during recovery. Both can deepen the energy shortfall you're trying to correct. Fifth, use light and movement to reinforce metabolic repair. Regular sunlight exposure supports mitochondrial enzymes tied to ATP production. And gentle activity like walking or stretching tells your muscles to stay active and responsive. Intensity isn't the goal, consistency is so you can send daily cues that align with energy restoration. If you've noticed subtle muscle loss, declining stamina, or fatigue out of proportion to your diet, consider them early signs of an energy problem rather than an eating problem. The research points to a clear sequence. Identify and correct NAD plus deficits, remove dietary obstacles, supply needed cofactors, and use simple daily practices to stabilize energy across tissues. Here's your challenge. Over the next seven days, remove seed oils from your meals, replace them with stable fats, and add niacinamide at 50 milligrams three times daily, as outlined. Pair this with one daily sunlight session and a gentle walk or stretch. Track your energy and strength with a simple log so you can see the change. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.